Oh, you're whatever you want to be, baby. Call me. <laughs> so, once upon a time, there was a house filled with dwarves, and these dwarves worked in the mines beneath the surface of the earth and swore revenge on the upworlders. Yes, you upworlders! And one day, they came home to find a beautiful girl sleeping in their bed. Hey, look, a giant hottie. She's huge! She's gonna eat me. Run for it! Ah! Hold on, dwarf number two. I'm tired of running. I'm tired of being a supporting character. See, this is my time. For I happen to be quite brilliant, and I know that this giant hottie has fallen under a curse to sleep for a hundred years. I thought that was the Sleeping Beauty story. From my perspective, they all look the same. <laughs> and the only way to wake this giant hottie up is for her to receive a kiss from her one true love, me. Um, so you're just gonna kiss her without getting active consent? What are you doing? <laughs> just comparing my police report. <laughs> Hey, giant hottie! Is it cool if I kiss you to wake you up from your coma? Sure, dwarf one. I like that. That was you. Well, how am I supposed to? What if you air hug from a comfortable six foot distance? <laughs> Fine. <gasps> it was love at first sight. Oh, you're not quite what I expected. I'm better, baby. I am the matted dwarf slap. And I have woken you up from the... Well, actually, I wasn't under a curse. I was just asleep and... Curse that was forcing you to sleep for a hundred years. I am your true love. Um... Oh, this is where you break out into song. Oh, well, I don't know the words. Oh, don't worry. I've got the lyrics written down for you right here. Expect 
spell it out as yourself. No, no, why? <laughs> Until versus purity and corruption, good and evil, and then I shall throw myself into a big black dragon. Never heard of it. There's a reason for that. Welcome to the 